I never thought that a basketball guy who just wanted to remain behind the scenes would eventually help so many basketball players pursue their dreams. Nor did I ever dream that I would become an interviewer. Funny how life works. This is our path. This is our dream. This is for our culture. The Curator Series. Who are you? Justin Bright, CEO of Humble Development, CEO of the Humble League. Where do you live? Crimes, Brooklyn. What is it that you do? I'm a basketball trainer, I'm a basketball coach for high school, boys and girls high school, and I'm a basketball coach slash trainer for Black House Basketball. Who are your mentors? My mentors are Lloyd McCrory, Sherman Emerson, Jerry Powell, uh, it's pretty much right there, my core guy. Where does your basketball story begin? Well, my basketball story begins at St. John's Recreation Center, uh, born and raised in Pride, Brooklyn, just growing up in the area, playing in different parks, Kingston Park, Lincoln Service Park, St. John's Park, Wingate Park. I'm um, just growing up playing street ball. Got introduced to organized ball around 15 years old, so I was like a late bloomer. Um, just playing pickup ball, and then I had to eventually get my grade right in school, started playing some high school basketball. Then I had to go to Juco route due to, due to my bad grades, um, with help of Tippy. Um, Tippy helped me out getting into Juco. And then I went on to play in a four-year college. Uh, did a, I, was, I was bouncing up and down a lot, um, but finally found a home, and, Started playing ball, then I started playing semi-pro, started playing in local leagues from West Falls to Pro City to Gersh to uh, Tri-State to all these tournaments. And then I just started training, fell in love with training. Um, training was something I was really big on my whole life. Uh, even though when I was in college, I was always that guy who led the drills. I was always that guy looking to get better. I was always that guy who wanted to work out constant hours because I seen what it did for me. Um, gave me confidence, made me better, made me quicker, made me sharp. So that's pretty much like how I came about with the training stuff. In your opinion, as a trainer, what makes you different? Um, I'm different because I'm unique. Um, I'm very creative. Um, my drills are mentally challenging, um, physically drain you, uh, makes you think. Um, it, it has. It has everything to incorporate, uh, conditioning, footwork, ball handling, eye-hand contact, shooting, all, all angles. Um, I'm young, I'm probably one of the youngest trainers doing it. Um, I'm very intelligent for my age, I'm very wise, and I'm overly prepared um, because of my experience by working with other trainers and other people being under the wing of great um, New York City role models. You know, Tippy, like I said, Coach Lloyd, uh, Jamel Thomas, 530, um, Kevin Jackson. Um, these guys are way older than me, and they, they've, they've seen the best basketball. And I'm basically like everybody in one. And now that I have Jerry Powell as a mentor, he's training, he's training my mind to become a better trainer. He's giving me advice, he's telling me what to do, what not to do. And um, now that I'm a part of Black Ops, which is owned by Carmelo Anthony, I'm around him 15 times a month. So I get to pick his brain, talk to him about basketball. Um, I'm just being set up to be successful. Right now I'm blessed to be, to know these people and to be around these people. In your time as a basketball trainer, has the landscape changed in any way, shape, or form? Um, the game has changed a lot, if that's what you're referring to. Yes. Right? The game has changed a lot. Um, there's a lot of up and down. There's a lot of jump shots, there's a lot of threes. Um, the traditional big men aren't around anymore. Um, real lanky, 6'9 guys, 6'10, 6'11, 7 foot guys you can put on the floor, shoot the three, stretch. It's all about stretching the offense. Um, uh, college ball is, is transcending to that. Um, the NBA is becoming a little softer because there's no more traditional, traditional bigs. Um, uh, the game is because it's due to the hand checking, they took that away. So. It's about ticket sales, you get more scoring. There's no more fouling, no more slowing the game down, putting guys on the ass. So 
you get a lot of shots up with guys that now you will be able to touch it. So that's making the game worded down. So now, if you don't have a jump shot, you're not going to the league. Point blank period. So the game has changed a lot. It's evolving. You got six, like I said, seven foot guys playing on the floor, creating their own shot. Um, point guards, windmilling. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Has a change in the landscape changed your training method? Oh, definitely. Um, if I want to stick around, I have to do what's current. So, um, what's current is shooting, ball handling, creating space for your own shot, um, a lot of creativity, um, you know, being strong, wiry, slim fit, um, just real active and explosive. So, I have to train to those, to those categories. Got to get guys prepared physically and mentally to, you know, play at that level. What is your end game? Tell me where I want to end up. Yep. Uh, I want to end up in the NBA. For sure, 100%. Um, I, feel like, I feel I belong. Um, my mind is advanced. Um, I know if I'm around that 24-7, my mind will expand even, expand even more. Um, I'm capable of so many things. I'm a quick learner. Um, very punctual. And I just want to, that's, that's where I want to be. Um, I wanted to be there as a player, unfortunately. I was a gifted with the tools. Uh, uh, I haven't received the early knowledge that I got now, back then. So I was kind of less fortunate due to um, guidance. Now all the guidance and mentors that I have now, if I had that back then, I would be in a way better position in terms of playing professionally. Um, but I definitely want the NBA. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to end up. That's where my heart desires to be. What are your parting words of advice for the next group of trainers coming up? Um, my parting advice is um, just know your history, know who came before you, um, respect everybody, show love, um, just work hard at it. Um, just like anything you want to do in life, just put in countless hours. If you want to be a rapper or a singer, you got to be in the studio all day. If you want to be a dancer, you got to be at the dance studio all day. Um, you want to be, you want to make money, you got to hit the block, whatever you want to do. Just, um, just go hard, um, put your heart in it. Um, you know, just have respect for everybody. Stay in your lane. And um, whoever comes to you to train for you, they're going to train with you. Everybody's not meant to train with you. Um, there's relationships with this training thing. Some people work with other people better. Sometimes it is what it is. You can be better than another trainer. It's just that trainer and that kid has a great relationship, so they work well together. You can't hate on that, you can't knock that nothing to do with you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Affect the kids that you can affect. Point everybody in the right direction. And just keep being positive and work tremendously hard. And if they, this is something you want to do, use it to bless others. Simple. Who are you? Um, I'm unique. Um, I'm very different. Um, I'm very confident. I'm very humble. Um, I'm blessed in so many ways. I'm rich in terms of the people that are around me, um, the access that I have, um, the, the relationships I've built in terms of networking. Um, I'm a different kind of kid, uh, I'm a different kind of guy. Um, I've been through certain things that led me to this point. I'm not like nobody else. I'm, I'm super, super different. Where do you live? I still live in Brooklyn. And what is it that you do? Basketball That's it. That's it. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you. That's just fire.